What I want to do is quickly go over a quick little review on how to simplify exponents. One thing you guys should remember is when you multiply exponents, or I'm sorry, when you multiply um, the variables which are you we create our exponents. So when we say like an x times an x, that becomes x squared. And x times x times x would be x cubed. So what we do is I'm multiplying by myself, or a, a variable is multiplying by itself five times. We're going to say it's going to be x to the fifth power. Now essentially, if you look at this, I essentially am doing the exact same thing again, but now what I did was I broke it into parentheses. However, so really what I did was I did x to the third times x squared. However, if I kind of got rid of those parentheses, because remember multiplication, you, you, uh, multiplication is just going to go, you can just multiply all the way through. This is really essentially x to the fifth. So if you look at kind of what are you really doing with your exponents? And what I, you can say you do is, well, you're not multiplying 3 times 2. Okay, when you multiply the same bases with different exponents, you're actually, what you're doing is you're going to add the exponents. So that really equals x to the third plus 2. Right, those are equivalent. So just remember this. When you have exponents and you're multiplying them, you're adding the exponents. So when you multiply bases with exponents, you add the exponents. Essentially over here, this is x to the fourth over x squared. Now, it's a good idea. You could say, well, if you multiply, you add. When you divide, you subtract. Well, let's go and look at why does that happen. Well, if you guys remember, if you guys kind of look at this, if I have x to the fourth divided by x squared, these, if I can cancel these out, because x divided by x is 1, right? So I can cancel those two x. I'm left with x squared, which is the same thing as saying x to the fourth minus 2. All right. Now, if I was going to do this down here, I would say this is x squared and this is x fourth. So if I was going to do my subtraction, I get x to the negative 2 because x2 minus 4 equals x to the negative 2. And let's go and see how that works. And you say, well, a negative 2, if I cancel these out, that equals 1, and that equals 1, I'm going to be left with a 1 over x squared. So where are you getting your negative 2? Well, one thing I want you guys, one thing we're going to learn in a little bit is x to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over x squared. So these are actually equivalent, um, equivalent exponents. So just a quick little reminder, how we get our exponents, when you're multiplying bases, you add the exponents. When you're dividing, you're subtracting the exponents. And that's just a quick uh, review of how to simplify exponents.